Welcome, in front of me is a Realme C53 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup of this phone. Now I am on the second page right now uh, after you press on the green arrow which allows me to select my desired language. Now it already did default to a English language so that's what I'm going to be sticking with anyway. But obviously you can find your desired language from the list right here. And you can select continue, select your region. You know what? And there we go, Poland. And then we have some legal information. So we have end user license agreement and privacy policy. I can tap on the eye icon right here and here to read exactly what you are agreeing to. Uh, and once you do, you can select the check mark. And that's the only two that you actually need to agree to. Uh, the two below that are optional. So just don't select it. Next, we have Wi-Fi connection. Uh, now this is optional step. You can connect your Wi-Fi if you want to, but if you don't, you can select next. And this will just simply skip it. Now by skipping connecting to Wi-Fi and also not inserting a SIM card, uh, you won't see the Google login page and also date and time won't be set automatically. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, right here we have Google services. So we have three different services, location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. Uh, so obviously if you don't want some of them, you can turn them off and then select more and accept, which will take us to the next page that will allow us to select some kind of protection method on our device. Now we have three different methods of protecting our phone. One would be a fingerprint, the other one face recognition, and the third one is pin, pattern, or password. Now, that being said, when you're planning to se select any of these two first ones, fingerprint uh, or face recognition, or both of them, you will always be required to select a pin, pattern, or password. Now, the reason for that is if something would happen to your face or your finger or both of them, you'd simply lose access to your device for the time being, basically. So therefore, leaving you with the option for unlocking your device with a pen, pattern, or password that has no way of changing uh, if something would happen to you. And obviously, if you don't want to protect your device, you can select skip right over here. And this takes us automatically to the next page, which allows us to choose our system navigation. Select whichever one you prefer. I prefer the gesture navigation, so that's what I'm going to select. And select continue. We have some recommended. We have auto update overnight, lock screen magazine. I don't like this. It's basically a slideshow or not slideshow, but a bunch of uh, wallpapers that have been picked by the company that will cycle through on the lock screen whenever you press the power button, which I just don't like it. Once I select, select a screen lock wallpaper, I just want to have that wallpaper. So I'm gonna select not now because I don't want it. Then we have personalized search. Uh, efficient online search service in the drawer uh, it's completely up to you if you want this then we have global search and whatever you can go to the next page which basically finishes up the setup giving us get started option and once you click on it we should be taken to our home screen and there we go now if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching